What's going on everyone, Mitesh here with Mtech and today I've got for you my full review of the Essential phone in 2018. Whether this phone is worth it or not, now that the price has come down from $700 all the way down to $300, $250, and even $225, which is what how much I bought this phone for. But is it worth it knowing that it had issues before? Let's find out. All right, so if you guys are interested in the specs and the camera quality of these, I'd made two different videos, the unboxing and the camera review, and you guys should definitely go check those out because I go much more in depth than those things. Here, I'm mainly going to be talking about my experience using this phone day to day for like the past month. So that's what this video is going to focus on. If you guys are interested in those things, definitely go check those out. Also, go check out my last video that I did on the um, gaming headset. I'll have it linked up here. But on that video, all the B-roll is actually shot using this phone because, you know, I want to give a little bit more idea of what kind of video quality this phone can capture. So definitely go check that out if you guys want to know a little bit more about the video quality. But yeah, let's get into talking about what my experience with this phone has been like. And let me just go ahead and start off by just giving essential phone a round of applause and my phone just fell down. Give me a second. All right, let me just start off by giving essential phone a round of applause because they managed to do something that no one else has been able to do and they managed to put the newest version of Android on this the same day as the Pixel phone. So the same day that Google dropped Android Pie for the Pixel 2, they dropped Android Pie for the essential phone. And you know what? That's just really impressive. So for me personally, moving from my Pixel to this essential phone has not been much of a change at all because it's got the exact same software on it. They're both basically stock Android. Google has a couple extra features on their phone that this one doesn't like. You can't squeeze this phone, but you know what, not a big deal. For the day-to-day -day stuff, for the basic things that I do on my phone, it has been no issue whatsoever. So if you're someone who likes stock Android, you will definitely like what Essential has done on this phone. Now I'm not saying that the software on here is perfect. It does tend to slow down much more than my Pixel did. So the Pixel was like rock solid with Android Pie and basically any version of Android because it's just been tuned so well that like it just never slows down whatsoever. There's no app crashes, there's nothing like that. But here, well, I don't get any app crashes, I do find sometimes it just slows down. And that's just something that, you know, I don't know. I just, I got used to it with the Pixel, nothing slowing down, but here it slows down a little bit. It's a little bit weird considering they have the exact same hardware basically. So I don't know, your mileage may vary, but for me personally, it's been a great experience with a couple of hiccups now and then, but I'm coming from the Pixel device. If you're coming from any other device, you're probably gonna be used to it. So in terms of software, I think Essential does a fantastic job and you will not be disappointed by this at all. All right, next up, let's talk a little bit about the hardware itself. So the screen is a very nice big display. It's a 5.7 inch screen. It is 1312 by 2560. It's a weird aspect ratio. I'm not really sure exactly what it is because it's not exactly a two by one aspect ratio, but it is a little bit weird. But yeah, so the aspect ratio is weird. That aside, it's a pretty nice screen. It's IPS LCD screen versus an OLED, which I mean, I've gotten really used to OLED panels and I do much prefer those, especially at night when I'm like trying to read a book in bed and the entire screen's lighting up versus just the letters as I would like. But you know, it's something that you get over. Once you have it, you're not gonna be really picking up on those things. It's just something to note that you are not getting the best technology when it comes to screen. Additionally, this screen is not the brightest, so I don't know if I can even show it off here, but if you look at the screen right here, it's not that bright, especially in like bright sunlight. It's a little bit hard to see. Uh, if you put it off, off axis, you do tend to lose a lot of that light. So just know that it's not the best screen in the world, but it's still pretty good. And it's very high resolution and it's nice. The colors are pretty accurate. You know what? Just know this. The screen is really good. You won't be really disappointed by this, especially if you're just looking at this every day. You're not comparing it next to like a Pixel or a Galaxy phone or an iPhone or anything like that. You're gonna be pretty fine. Now, on that screen, we do of course have that notch. Now, Essential was one of, was one of the first companies to have a notch display like this. And the thing is, they didn't get a lot of crap for it because that notch is just so tiny. It's just such a little tiny notch. It may be a little bit taller than other notches, but you know what? It's really not that obtrusive. You get used to it pretty quickly and most apps work around it just fine. So if you guys are worried about the notch experience, I will tell you just don't worry about it. It's really not that big of a deal. In videos, it will maybe annoy you guys some. Me personally, I've never seen anybody put anything that far off to the side, so I'm not really worried about it. But yeah, the notch is just something that you just kind of get used to. It's really not that big of a deal. 
All right, so moving on from the screen, um, the phone itself is super well built. I think I mentioned in my unboxing, so it's made of ceramic, it's got titanium sides, so it's like a super well built phone. Now, I'm still putting this in a case, of course, because I don't trust myself and the screen's probably gonna break if I do that, but yeah, it's really good phone. You really don't have to worry about it as much as you would with an aluminum foil phone or anything like that, or a glass back phone, because technically this is stronger than that. Now, like I said, Put it in a case because you're going to want to do that. The gray is actually really nice because it doesn't pick up any fingerprints at all. So that's kind of super nice. The fingerprint reader. Can we just talk about the fingerprint reader for a second? It is just a little bit slower than I would like. So it works. It works pretty well, but it's just slower than I would like. And I find that I don't like fingerprint readers that are like this because this one has a very flat fingerprint reader, whereas all the other phones I've had before this, all the fingerprint readers are concave, so like your finger will like rest inside of it. But it's something that I found a little bit annoying. The fingerprint reader is a little bit slow, and it's kind of hard to... It's not hard to find, but it's a little bit hard to make it work. So yeah, that's just a little thing. I'm glad it has it. It does work most of the time, and that is how I primarily unlock the phone. But yeah, it's just a little bit of a thing. Oh, and another thing I forgot to mention is the battery life. So the battery life on this phone has been really good. I've had it last me pretty much every day without really having an issue. Um, my Pixel phone usually tended to get me down to like 20% by the end of the day. This phone usually is much better than that. So I don't know if it's just the fact that it has a bigger battery or what, but this thing tends to last me a little bit longer than my Pixel does. So for most people, it's gonna be relatively like a day long battery, unless you're like a very heavy user, in which case you're gonna to wanna to have a charger with you. Uh, this thing does come with fast charging. It includes a fast charging in the box, which is much faster than my Pixel phone. So I was really happy about that. But yeah, battery life is decent. You're gonna want more, but it's decent enough. All right, so with all that said, would I recommend you getting this phone? And the answer is yes, you should definitely pick this phone up because you know what, you are getting nothing that's this good for this price with software that's this good. So if you guys are in the market for a phone that's really good for a really good price, like you don't wanna pay the $900 for a brand new phone, this is definitely one worth considering. If you can, you know, deal with all those little tiny minor annoyances that you may have. Now, some of you may be wondering about Essential and why the price is so low. So the reason the price is low is the company is not doing well. And that does cause me concern about the longevity of this device because, you know what, what if they stop supporting it? But the fact that they are still, you know, doing software development for this, they're still putting out security updates, they're still, you know, they put in Android Pie when they really didn't have to consider how much they're struggling. and. You know, people would be mad, but people would understand that the company is kind of in trouble. But they've been doing the right things. They've been, they've still continued to do AMAs on Reddit and things like that. So even though the company looks from the outside like it's in trouble, the fact that they're still maintaining security updates and all that stuff makes me kind of think that maybe they'll continue doing what they're doing. Hopefully the company doesn't go under. That is something that you need to think about. It is a possible risk with buying this phone is the fact that the company might not be around in a year from now. So I definitely want you guys to know that before you buy this. But yeah, for me personally, I'm gonna be sticking with this phone for a while, at least until the Pixel 3 comes out and maybe beyond that considering, depending on how the Pixel 3 actually is. But yeah, with that, that's pretty much all I have for you guys. If you guys are interested in buying this phone, definitely go check out the links in the description. Amazon had the best price for this thing and I do have a link to that in the description. And if you guys use that link, it does support the channel with no cost to you. So please consider using that. But yeah, with that, that's pretty much all I have for you guys in this one. If you guys like this one, go ahead and hit that like button. If you guys disliked it, the dislike button's down there too. Make sure you check out the other videos that I did with the Essential Phone if you guys wanna know more about it. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.